So Mo is here. Are we live? Yeah, good. We're live. But YouTube isn't showing me that we're live yet. Hmm. Anyway, how you doing, Dean? I'm good, mate. How are you? Hi, Mo. Hi, Mo. It's nice, nice for you to be here, Mo. So, I've called this meeting today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So how do we do this? So, uh, let's no. let's go. I turn on a camera. That's my desk, and should probably explain what we're doing today first. Yes. All right. So I have had a pile in the past month or less than a month. I've had a <laughs> massive pile of um, of things showing up in. Uh, uh oh, Streamyard is the same. My connection is unstable. It's like no, that's just me. But hey, replicator. I've had a massive pile of books show up, so we're just gonna like flip through them to say, "Hey, this came." Except that I've already unboxed several of them, so there's that. And Dean is here. Now, how? Hmm. Oh, that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Screw it. I'll just have to go like this. We're just gonna have to do it with me not being totally big. Well, the first one you, whatever you clicked on first, had you bigger than me. That was probably the best option. Oh, yeah. Why did uh, I rearrange that? The other that way. Was... Yeah, that one. <laughs> That's probably the best option you have. Hi, Rob. Oh my gosh, Rob doesn't have a wrench. I, if if I knew how to give wrenches, I would deal with that. You have to do that on YouTube. You can't do that through Streamyard. I, you I just kind of yeah. I, I have YouTube open. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyway, so this thing I've showed up. Ages. Like, so no, one told me how, no one told me how to do that, so I had mm -hmm. to actually figure that out for myself. You know, Google searching stuff for tech support at work is so easy, and nobody yeah. ever does it. Yeah, Google search is basically half, like, that's how I know half the things I know. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> just, just, oh, I love, I love when people ask you, what should I what should I search for? Here's my question, and they tell you the question, and it's like you search for what you just said to me, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. So hey, this book showed up, Pillow Man and Blanket Boy by. Um, have you heard of this one, Sean Davis? Yeah, yeah, definitely. This is that all ages one that he wrote with his son, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's a great like. That's a that would be great. Like I wish my dad loved me enough to have done something like that with me when I was a kid. You know. Well, we we can love you enough. <laughs> <laughs> how do how do I answer that? <laughs> oh. Oh. Yes, yeah, so, um, tell us about this. Like, have, you've already opened it, obviously, so you're not unboxing these. Have you read these yet, or what? What's the go? No, with these? I haven't read these yet. And also, part of the unbox was this thing. Like, I have noticed lately that I drool when I sleep, and so that is one more reason not to. Come on, man. Where are you? There we are. One more reason not to actually use such a precious artifact as the pillowcase that it came with. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I mean, why have a, why have trading cards when you can have a pillowcase? Oh, no, that's the perfect thing to come with Pillow Man too. Oh, that's great. I would have never thought of that either. No, and I, and I love it how it's something. This is a poster that is uh, this cover, just larger. But oh, okay. yeah, and I I love how you know he picked doing something that actually fits with the story and whatnot. So that's that's always really cool. Yeah. Nice. How's it? How's it feel? Um, not too lightweight, not too flimsy, but they turn. It's not like it's it's not like the middles are made of cardstock, so it opens real real easy. Right, good stuff. Ooh, we got a little bit of text near the middle there like that. Uh, that that's one of my pet peeves when it comes to comic books. I think I think this was designed for staple and then changed. So Oh uh, yeah. No, that would that would explain it definitely. Hey, what do you think of this art? Like I'm I don't mind it. I I am like from what I can see, you know, obviously I'm not looking at a high definition proper close up image of it. It's just what's on your webcam, but yeah, it looks good to me. I don't have any complaints you know like you've seen my style my style is a lot more darker you know yeah. but yeah no i like it it so, definitely yeah. suits the story too because it's a bright superhero story yeah and well he has a dark figure here but i'm looking at the line work here and it's like this is blatantly um going after like dc house jason Faber, <laughs> just not as detailed well yeah no, hey that's a 
Jason um, Fabic, I'm not even sure how to pronounce his last name, so we'll just go with Fabic the way you said it. Sure. But um, <laughs> yeah, he's um, he's actually, that would be a great target to go for. You know, if you're going to replicate someone in the mainstream, he's definitely one of the better artists to go for. Ah, there we are again. Replicate. Every stream, we use the word replicate. Hey, Darren, how you doing? Because Rob's here. Yes. Got, got to shill out all the Australian books at all times. Rob shows up and we can't help but say the word replicate. <laughs> it just happens. So, uh, let's see. Oh, you know what? My stream is paused. Don't know why. And hit the live button. Okay, yeah. So this is pretty cool. Somebody, somebody said he stole artwork. And I'm just looking at this going... No, I mean he has a style, but no. <laughs> so I just I hate when people pass rumors around. What he did do, by the way, this is an homage cover to. Um, I recognize. And, and it, yeah, it was Batman number nine, and he was very open about it. There's nothing stolen. Yeah. Well, no, no, there's a there's a difference between you know like copying something and showing like doing an an homage to something. You know, yeah, like we, we, how many Spider-Man 300 covers are there around you? You're not going to say that they were copying that picture. It's no, they were appreciating yeah. it. Hold that thought on Spider-Man 300. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I'm sick of that cover. All right, let's let's not talk about that cover. Uh, Rob <laughs> says, "I swear, no one." Oh wait, okay. If I use the mouse, I can actually do that. No one ever said replicate. Now everyone says it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I went. through. I went through life never hearing anyone use the word discern outside of church. And then I mentioned it to somebody um, and I actually nailed him. He was a singer. I'm like, you got beat up by a church, didn't you? He's like, yeah, how can you tell? And it's, you know, your lyrics and whatnot. And he looked at me like I was an idiot when I said, nobody ever uses the word discern. And then like the <laughs> next week I heard everybody use the word discern <laughs> and, like outside of church. That's anyway. the worst. Uh, there's this company called Evolution or something like that, and they have an imprint for No Sleep, which is some of their rougher stuff. Oh, and yeah. this is just issue two of. Um, I tried the first one. I was like, okay, I'll give it a second chance. This showed up, you know. Okay, and now that it showed up, um, three weeks later they launched the campaign for number three. They're thirty-two page books with um, for fifteen bucks shipping in the U.S. So, um, yeah, fifteen total. And it's like, well, you know, that fits. But no, these yeah, that, are that's um, really good. Like, I know that being on the other side of the world, I would cop it with postage. Yeah. But yeah, if I was in America, that would be a deal. Yeah. Now, obviously, you see what's coming next, but let's see if I can show what's in here. I have not read either of these yet, but or this or oh, this. Exciting. Um, well, thankfully, have, I you, didn't have you even flicked through it yet? Is this your first time looking at it? This is my first time looking at it, and thankfully I didn't open to, like, you know... They have another book that's, like, all witchcraft. Oh, I can get that off the screen. Um, and, uh, like, you do not... It is not safe for web webcam, like, at all. It, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hi, David Feed. Uh, no one ever got get a new car, and then you see that car everywhere. Yes. Yes, exactly. Hey, hey B-Rose. Rose. Yeah, this one has a. This is a weird story. So um, what is this about? Because I don't think I've ever heard of this book. Either. And you know, in case anyone in the chat hasn't heard of it either, give us a. Like, what is it? Why did you back it? Because I don't think you've read it yet, have you? Okay, number one was a heist story, and it's a heist gone wrong where the people pulled up, uh, hired to do the heist, were hired by, and you find this out at the end of the sort of almost the end of the number one, hired by the owner of whatever owner and controller of whatever they were going to go steal. And there's a, there are two other ent entities, in, uh, well, no, there's a, another entity involved that's supposed to be guarding whatever, whatever the heist was going for. Um, it was like, a, like an armored car type thing. And everything went wrong. And she ends up, she, this woman you see on the cover ends up in some kind of, I have to like, I have to like, I don't mean review, like do a review online. I mean, go back and flip through it. Uh, she ends up with essentially an underground group that's rebelling against the government. And this is, like future dystopia on another planet type stuff. So it's pretty intense. They have another book also. That that sounds like the kind of book that I would want to read. Are you going to are you going to actually like I know you said that you don't mean review, but like are you going to review these? I I may, I can't, I can't. They have another book called Le Fay, or if I hold that properly. This is the witchcraft book, and man, it is it is like, yeah, you can't show any of that. It's gruesome. Oh, okay. 
I'm not keeping up with the chat. <laughs> anyway, so that arrived. Yay. Grayscale. What do you know about Grayscale? Grayscale, I know like I know the gist of his powers and things. I, I know what I've been able to gather from Kimasabi's review. Okay. And and the little bit that I spoke to Michael Derrick about it when he was on the Comics Mate stream. Came with an ash can. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, there we go. I gotta put everything in the right place. Um, so what's his powers? Stickers. Um he sees basically he can see people's karma. Like whether you are essentially whether or not you are good or bad. And um, you know, like most he, most people he sees in like a shade of grey. And like mm -hmm. good people, like purely good people would be white, and you know, really truly evil people would be black. So oh, he okay. sees most most people he sees with like a grey aura because you know most people are one way or the other. Oh, and yeah, that's where the whole grayscale thing comes from. He's got a few other powers that like stretch out from that, but you know, like I don't want to spoil too much of it. No, but yeah, essentially, okay. he's a vigilante. Like, you know, he goes around in his costume does that punishes those that he sees because he can actually see you know like that's a bad person and he goes and does something about it is it comedic in any way because the abductables was really funny oh no 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 this is um a very much like a classic superhero story okay uh, yeah kimasabi has nothing but nice things to say about grayscale he absolutely loved it wonderful yeah. uh you can see you can see i got a pair of copies here um this is one of those things where if you're a really really small creator i might just you know like you know, get get two copies just to kind of give you a little boost. But those days, yeah, have, I know a few people that do that. <laughs> yeah, I think I think those days are over for me. But um, <laughs> Stephen, Stephen Cook or SK is as he's known. So this finally delivered, which I, I don't mean. Well, I'm sorry. This delivered. It finally is that it came from Australia. So yeah, yeah. I've got um Terra Olympus by SK. He's a like he's actually really good. Yeah. Um, and he does he does letters and everything, so he's just part of the comic community. Like, he's a great dude. But mm -hmm. I haven't read Transhuman because I didn't back this one. Like I've got Terra Olympus one and two, and like I think he's making a number three. I'm sure he is. So I'll be backing number three of that as well. But I missed out on this one for something else, I guess. Because you know, a certain amount of money. Like it was on my list, but then it ended before I was able to actually back it. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, it'd be a lot simpler if you gave me a wrench. Mo, <laughs> Mo doesn't have a wrench. How did that yeah, happen? That's not right. No, I mean, what if NTM showed up? What would Mo do? <laughs> so, oh shit! Yeah, we can't be having that. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not paying enough attention to the chat, guys. Um, but it looks like you guys are entertaining each other, which is really cool. It's okay. Yeah, I'm yeah. paying attention to you guys, but I can't, I can't, you know, do anything about it. I have no control. I'm sorry. This isn't. You guys need to come watch my stream one day, and then I'll be able to put all your comments up on screen. Have you posted in the chat yet? No, no. Oh, let's see. Here's a click. Um, okay, remove. Put user in timeout. Hide user on this channel. Okay, there we go. I'm clicking on Rob. So let's see how that does. All right. Hide user on this channel. <laughs> Here, put your name. Put your name. Say something in the chat, please, Dean. <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting to that right now. I'm just trying to find it. There's so many live streams all at the same time. There we go, Blue, Blue Samurai. All right. G'day. I'm waiting for YouTube to catch up. I see it in the front. The, in the hey, the chat. He's wrenching. Who, me? Don't What's listen up? to B Rose. He lies. Wait, you're already a moderator. Yeah, probably from last time. Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> so, so uh, yes, uh, Steven or SK makes... He, Terra Olympus was really cool. I like the art style in the first one. Mo says hail to me and then he deleted it. Okay. <laughs> no, Mo was timed out. Okay, never mind. It's fine. Oh, is that yeah. what's going on? <laughs> yes, I was wondering what the hell was going on then for a second too. Somebody told me not to give not, not to give <laughs> him a wrench. <laughs> the first thing he does, he starts abusing it. <sighs> <laughs> abusing the wrench. What a euphemism! Please do not abuse the wrench on my channel. <laughs> I was like, don't listen to B Rose, and then I was instantly proven wrong. Um, this this book you said you were interested in. Uh, this arrived in really yeah yeah that, that's on my list right now. 
Mm -hmm. Look at that. Uh, okay. I, I got to center my camera better. Oh, everybody knows the, the hybrids t-shirt, you know? Yeah. And, uh, should we tell them, uh, Alex, I, I might be the model for this drawing. You just to drive, drive you crazy there. So <laughs> <laughs> might be. <laughs> for, Alex is the queen of comics gate. He's a good guy though. So anyway, yeah. Ned, uh, Lord of the pit showed up. This one is a comedy. Uh huh. And it, it looks great. Oh, that's right. This, he put in a thank you note for everybody. Oh, nice. Yeah. So th that's one of my favorite things about indie comics. You know, we get all these little touches and things that, you know, you don't get from a comic book shop and yeah, like, I mean, I'm actually losing count of how many comic creators that I have books, you know, like not just people that make books and things, like actual creators that I've bought stuff from, you know, it, from my childhood and everything even that I've spoken to now, you know, like there are creators that actually know me. It, that's mm -hmm. insane. Like that's still insane to me. So yeah, like indie comics, like this is the way to go for the future from now on. It is. Like I'll never be going back to the mainstream, no way. I have no interest in it anymore. This is really dangerous not knowing like how rated are these or I don't Oh right. right. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just I've already accidentally shown boobs already from a one earlier book. So well, I really like the artwork in this. Yeah. This is this is great. I mean, people say they they start to really like artwork when it gets very stylized away from DC House, but sometimes it goes too far. And this is no, this is just him. Mm, yeah, definitely. Okay, would anyone complain about this many words? Mm, depends what the words are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you can have a lot of dialogue that still doesn't feel dense. You know, like if if that's an argument, like I'm guessing by the panel, like yeah. if they're screaming at each other you might actually read through that relatively quickly. Mm -hmm. So, so you no, know, maybe like it could be, but don't think so. I think that's about the limit though. You know, like you couldn't put another word balloon on that page. No, no, you couldn't. No, it really depends on the function. So for people who don't that's know what great. Ned Lord, huh? Sorry. That, oh, you closed it. That page you were open on, there was a picture that looked great. <sighs> Let's see. There were two people kissing. Not a big deal. Um, no, I was talking about the zombie-looking person in the top one. Well, here's another one. Ooh. Yeah, also, that might even be the same character. But yeah, I think awesome. it is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so for people who don't know, Ned suddenly realizes he can see monsters that nobody else can see, and it turns out he's some sort of um, lord over hell of some type. <laughs> and, and, yeah, and he can see the dead and everything. <laughs> Yeah. And comedy ensues. This did take a while to come out. And of course, you know, I'm, I don't mean to rag on the guy. I'm just saying um, I'm a little unclear on the next part of the premise. So, anyway. That's, yeah, well, that's, that's pretty much all you find out from the campaign, anyway. Huh? Yeah, what well, this guy did, he's a he's a pro. Uh, Cal uh, Fiore, I guess. I don't know how to say his name. This I don't guy's know who that is. <laughs> I think he's been in film or whatnot. People can look look him up, but he has a cartoon book, and I I don't remember this being part of the campaign. I think he just threw it in with another bookmark postcard, and like it's it's just a daily cartoon, and a bunch of them are really funny. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, what a generous guy. Are you sure you didn't pay for that though? I had. <laughs> it was long enough ago. I can't recall. Um, yeah, that looks really nice. All right. I will properly stow these later. We're getting on to an actual official unboxing, what the people are here to see. Ah, well, here's a box. and It is. It's a mystery. We don't know what it is. Now, you've seen this already. Here we go. This was really cool. Uh, I had a bunch of conversations with Shelby. And he actually, like, I don't know if he did this for everybody, so that's really cool if he did. But that's he awesome. just wrote, you know, thanks to me and signed it. So, like, what do you do when you get a signed piece of package? <laughs> I mean, like, you have to keep it. <laughs> yeah. It went from being a penny to a nickel. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll probably, what I've done before with things that come in like this, like the guys who did um, Something Real, the Nightmare book, they 
d did art decorations on their cardboard. And so I would just like cut it out and put it behind the backer board. So it's not putting acid into the book, but yeah, I'll probably just rip this off and, and, you know, go from there. You're, you're oh, just man. going to damage the signed collectible, are you? No, never. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. This is going to be. There we go. Oh, 94. 94. This one is awesome. This yes. art style alone is enough to make me want to look at this book. I, I, I know nothing about this character, but I know he's not brand new, right? Like, this is something from the 90s. Correct. This is vol uh, issues one through three all. Put out together as one volume and then this is issue one as line art i'll pull it out and so is this oh here we go <laughs> there <it is>. <laughs> <laughs> oh <Demons>. wow <laughs> yeah, I don't know no, i'm gonna have to put that in my contract from now on anybody who hires me i'm never drawing that image <laughs> um let's see so trading cards in here in an ash can that's really cool he was very big on uh, i think on bancroft's channel he did talk about how he ships in these these things so oh, that's like, that's a nice touch you know like, it's not necessary but it's that extra bit of protection mm -hmm. and he and i used the same kind of tape and we we both put the tape at angles it's like we had some bizarre like are we brothers kind of thing <laughs> <laughs> Is the entire book? Oh wow, that's yeah. awesome! See, we're going back and forth right now. Um, should we do a black and white version of the embrace? Chat, what do you think? Do you think I should do a black and white variant? Like, what do you think of black and white variants? But yeah, that is that is nice. Like, I really like that. I would have backed that. Well, I didn't. I didn't even know they had a black and white version. No, I think this was just special. Uh, let's see. We've got some. Amaros is saying, uh, "I'll send, I'll send you a frame." Oh, it jumped! Dang it! <laughs> he, okay, my YouTube is way different from my. Um, yeah, I'm just looking at the stream yard. Yeah, maybe it depends on the story dialogue. Uh, with dialogue, I think you need to ask yourself if you really need it. Mm -hmm. There's no wax seal. Oh, thank you, Rob. You mean like, like this? Uh, that wax seal. Chef's kiss, mate. Oh my god, that's the best thing I've seen on any packaging. Mm -hmm. It was. That's a long three minutes. I don't know what that's in reference to. Oh, Alice. This I've, I've been told um, Joe was really interested in this book, Hunting Alice. Yeah, I, I keep trying to tell Anth. I want uh, I want to convince him to color it like Sin City, so it's all black, white, and red. Mm -hmm. And. I'm pretty sure he's going for full color, but I think that's a mistake. <laughs> for for the embrace? No, no, yeah, full color for the embrace for um hunting Alice. Oh, okay. Yeah, because he did that. There was a pinup that was done black, white, and red rather than full color. And ever mm -hmm. since I've seen it, I told I, I keep telling him every time I see him that I want him to make the entire book like that, like color it like Sin City with black, white, red, maybe yellow. You know, but nothing else really. And uh, yeah, no, he said no. <laughs> no. I I had forgotten his name because I didn't act. I didn't actually back that one, so I lost track of his name. Um, oh, yeah, no, don't worry about it. He doesn't. He doesn't mind. You can call him whatever. You can go back and forth. If you see something, I should highlight in the chat. Uh, would you tell me, please. Feel free. All right. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Well, yeah. Felix has dropped a link for the embrace. That should be highlighted at all times. There we go. <laughs> so there's this thing you can do. Embrace. Uh, pin message. I think. Message pinned. I think that'll do it. There it is. Oh, nice. You didn't need to do that. I was just messing around, but whatever. No, I, I felt the need. I felt it. No. Hey, is that Shelby Robertson in his own book? Right there? It definitely looks like him. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, this is really cool. Um, and I got yeah, I really wood. like this guy's art style. Very cool. All right, I gotta clean up before I go to the next one, or I'll make a mess. Yeah, that's how. That's the way it always is, though. Do you do you get many comedy books? Um, yes, I'd say yes. Like I wouldn't say I have a lot, but you know, like every ten books or so, there is a couple of them that are essentially just joke books. 
Okay. Well, if people didn't know, Andy Smith, this book is like five bucks on his website and, and then shipping on top of that. <laughs> um, and this book was actually really funny and, and like, okay, if you like Graham Nolan's humor in Monster Island, it's funny like that, but more intense, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Intense in the way of like she's in a bikini. Okay, Graham Nolan doesn't do that. So um, boring. <laughs> very boring. <laughs> but yeah, his original first man. It, he's a. Uh, um, you can get it from his website. So there's that. That showed up. Speaking of Graham Nolan, we should wait until up. he's like because he's got a first man campaign going on, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. But the so book's gonna be. Sorry. Wait until <laughs> wait until the campaign's over <laughs> before you tell anyone that. <laughs> Well, the, uh, I'm sorry. I guess I left something out. Um, the uh, the first man old copy is different. He's changing the story up. He's fixing up some some things in it. Not a lot oh, of the art okay. can be different, but you know, it'll be it's edited. Fixes and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Oh, did you back the Chinu? The Chinu? The Chinu? Yes, I did. I did not. This one was one that I I was actually disappointed with the look of this one from the very start. You can go back to the old streams on. Kellaway's channel, I think. That's how long ago it was when it first popped up. But I was incredibly disappointed with this. I had no interest in it at all from the very start. <laughs> so how does it look? <laughs> it well, the the cover looks pretty good. There's a spot gloss there on the if I put it in the right spot there. Spot gloss on the title. Nice. I like I like this cover better. Uh, real signature, printed signature. Um. Here we go. That look, black, white, and red. Yeah, yeah. That's the that's the color scheme that I was telling Dark Gift to go for. This, I wouldn't mind if he made this red a little more intense, but it is kind of realistic. Well, we, yeah, there should be more of it. Down there. Yeah, that is very subtle, but at the same time, you know, because it's red, it. it yeah, um, it makes it gets the desired effect across. You know, it gives you exactly what he was trying to achieve. Like because every single it, time it's on the page, it stands out. Yeah, well, because it's so thin here, it actually blends towards you know the variation in printing. It'll uh, bleed towards purple and pink. Yeah, and that's got to be deliberate, though, right? Like, I'd like to hope that he didn't make a mistake like that. No, no, it's I, not a I, choice I would make, but. It's this color, which, you know, looks that doesn't look than... bad on my screen. Yeah. <laughs> um, this this cover reminds me of the original print of Batman versus Grendel in the '90s, which was a um, Dark Horse crossover book. Um, oh, yeah. Matt Vanger. Sorry. No, I just said, oh yeah, like yeah. I said, I remember. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's a really nice. It's very t like very fine tooth, um, smooth texture, and of course it came with extra as little sticker card. So thank you, Graham. Nice, nice. This was just somebody who was on Kickstarter, but she sells on her own, and I thought I'd just give her a chance because it was like really cheap. <laughs> so it's like, all right, well, yeah, whatever. <laughs> what yeah. can you tell us about this one? Other than I it's forgot. on Kickstarter. Oh, okay. Um, it was two weeks ago that I read it, and I just said, yeah, I'll give her a chance, and I can't remember. <laughs> oh my God. All right. Oh, all right. What is this thing that people are saying 10 minutes, 5 minutes? What? Are... <laughs> I don't it... know. Are I don't fighting? know what they're talking about. I think they're trying – They, which ones are mods and which ones aren't? Because there's something going on in the chat involving Blue? timeouts. Okay, Darren Wagner is a mod. Uh, Felix Haas is a mod. Um, replicator was abusing the wrench, and that's yep. a euphemism. So we took it away. So oh, you took it away. That's what's going on. <laughs> uh, they say that's, that that's what would have caused everything. That's where it would have started for sure. Well, I figured it'd be fun. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Give them something to talk about. Yeah. A lot. A lot of people haven't heard of this book. It's Greek gods in modern time, and then there's a murder. Cool. I dig it. All right. Sounds like, but yeah, I had I hadn't heard of that either. So neat. Look, but yeah, as long as they're bullying someone in the chat, they won't bully you, right, Blue? Correct. I guess they've been timing him out or something like that. I think that's what they're doing. Yeah. 
I have to be careful not to show my label on this one. This is okay between between breasticles and labels. I, this is a very careful stream. Oh, okay. You should have just grabbed the text uh, like a marker or you know something and just scribbled over it. You and your common sense. What? <laughs> so what is this one? You've got a Guardian, bunch of books that I've never even heard of. Guardians of Erloth. This is actually one of the first books I reviewed on my channel for number one. Um, it's very hero's journey, but it's not like blatantly in your face. Um, there's a future yeah. where, where dragon or dragons, which are just big lizards, and humans live together. It's very medieval. Or it's, or it's an alternate history, modern, something like that. Um, but uh, the last the last king of the humans is is being sought after by these lizard guys. I have I read this thing. Oh geez, fourteen months ago. Does the interior artwork match the cover? That's no. my only first question because I really like those covers. Yes, in fact, it does. If I remember correctly, the carpet matches the That's drapes. That's always nice. Oh, shiny. All right. Ooh. Yeah. So she's hot, so she's like everywhere on these extras. I think one of these is a print of, the, of one of the covers and then of the other cover, cards and a sticker and all that. Yeah, all the good stuff. Oh, yeah. No bookmark? Right there. Oops, good. sorry. Okay. Right there. Bookmark. Right. Yeah, cool. There you go. How's that? Yeah, yeah. No, I would definitely be happy with that. There's too many, like too many um, books don't look. Like I agree with Leroy. You know when Leroy says that he's a fan of, um, like mainstream comic books, but not necessarily a fan of indie comic books. Like he wants them to feel professional and things in his hand. Mm -hmm. I, I'm the exact same way. Like I feel like, you know, and this looks professional to me. And like you know, that's why I asked. You know, the first thing that I'm going to ask with almost every one of them is like, what does it feel like? Is it nice and firm and like, is it? shitty paper or any of that because you know like those are the things that like you don't really think about it until it's done wrong it's like lettering you know like until you won't notice it if it's done right yeah this is good paper that makes me want to handle the book very carefully okay yeah cool. okay there are a lot of pages here this is i think bigger than originally intended i don't know it fe it feels like there's more than 48 pages here, but I think it's just 48. Hey, 48 is yeah. a good number. Yeah. So maybe it is the size it was intended. But yeah, good artwork. Um, this is, I don't know if you remember the guy named Chael, C H A E L, something like that. No. No. Well, this is his book, Chael Roberts from cool. Minnesota. Is it still available? Because uh, I don't think I've seen this one at all, but I actually really like the look of it. Uh, okay. Indiegogo. I'm in my other window here. I'm not sharing just yet. Let me get the address for him. Rob, Gee, timed, Rob timed out Mo twice. I saw that. That's why it's by accident, apparently. I don't believe it was an accident at all. Does anyone believe that was an accident, honestly? No? No, he did it on purpose, but apparently Mo was pissed. I, I, I do believe that. <laughs> no, this is closed, but on the next campaign, look for maybe your, um, a follow-up copy or something like that, because that's what he did on this campaign. For This is for number two. So there might be, the way he did uh, number, two, number two with a backup for number one, there might be more. All right, moving on to things in boxes, because that's what we're really here for. Yeah, it's the, you know, what's in the box? It's the mystery that gets everyone. Mm -hmm. Oh, demonetized. What? <laughs> oh, I'm not even monetized. <laughs> Do you get like demonetized and a strike against your, your channel for showing scissors because there's two blades? No, no, I think scissors are fine, but it's literally any kind of knife, even a butter knife. <laughs> Okay. All right. That looks a lot nicer. Like the actual physical book looks a lot nicer than the promo images did on the internet. Yeah, it does. 
it's got like a gold to it that you didn't see on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, it does. This is this is really nice. This is the second version of it. He redid the coloring to make it nighttime. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna need to give Mo a wrench. When Mo doesn't have a wrench, look at the chaos that ensues. <laughs> My goodness. Is most of here? Don't do it now. Just wait until he comes back. I'm pretty sure he's timed out. He, I, I'm sure if he's still here, he's not allowed to say anything. That's what the problem is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, hi, David. Everybody on my channel has to have a wrench because y'all don't know how to behave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> oh, this has a weird, like, matte texture to it that's really cool. Very nice. Oh, I like Matt. Nothing wrong with Matt. Hey, maps. All right. The good kind of maps. Ooh. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> See if I can get this to reflect correctly. Sure, was like a, a, there was a glimpse of it. Yeah. My light is like right above the camera, right there. Uh, yeah, can you tell that that's metallic? Yeah. It, it looks like um, only certain parts of it are extra shiny, though. Like, I can't tell what the picture is, though, because the card's so small on the screen. Oh, it's her costume. Oh, so, okay, yeah. Okay, that's what I could see glowing, is the bits yeah, of looks, armor that were on the ground. It looks like an owl, but really it's, it's, it's her corset uh, bikini thing and shin guards and whatnot. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm sure that's a useful card that's that's something that we've always wanted i'm sure yeah hey it was shiny okay it got my attention <laughs> <laughs> hey d wags likes it good all right <sighs> my fingers aren't working see a beautiful lady i get all nervous there we go and, and your both. fingers stop working fuck she would hate that I know. <laughs> yeah, get it. Give us a look at that cover again now that it's out of the bag, though. Oh yeah. So we don't. Very have to nice. Yeah, very nice. Is that a like a matte texture as well? Like. Yep. Yeah, you can see that on the camera. That that looks really good. Just like I'm, not just, I'm not just saying that because you know it's half naked woman. Like. Right. Yeah. The book looks really good. <laughs> Kind of like the Chanu, um, same texture, and I'm trying to make it glare just so you can see that it doesn't, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, That's I can cool. see the light hitting it, but not reflecting. Let's take a look inside our perks. Yeah. So. And I mean, he took the time on this. Yeah, that's what you want, right? Like. <sighs> I I have no resentment over. Uh, Ned, Lord of the Pit, taking time to get here or anything like that. A lot of these, you know, oh, the books take too long. It's like, if for a pro, yes. For people who are doing this in their evenings for 48 pages, they're fine. No, uh, there's, there's, there is a line where it can be too long. Mm -hmm. You know, but like if it's a few months, six months even, I'm not going to say anything. But then, the, you know, there's the few books there are, mm -hmm. you know, like that. You know the well-known, extremely late books that everyone talks about every time they say, you know, like when we joke around and say we're never getting X. You know, you all know which one I'm talking about. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. Like those ones have been way too long. You but know, my address isn't even general, on this label over here, but yeah, some of those books like we're never getting. It, it, oh. Anyway, we know what this one, is. What's that one Bancroft backed? It was way before my time, but it was like a horror book or something. It's got that really cool painted style with all those monsters and stuff in it. Oh, but it geez. ended a really long time ago, and that's still not here. I can't remember. That's the latest book out of any of them that I've heard of. Okay, we, we know, I can't remember what it's called. We know Detective Dead is... That's only it, Baba. Thank you very much, David. Oh, Long yeah. Hour. Yeah. That looks look great. That was before my time, though. You know, that was already closed when I first heard about it. But I would have backed that, and I would have been very upset. <laughs> so what is the story on Long Harbor now? Like, is it, you know... It's just taking it, forever, I guess. It's not abandoned? Like, no, no, as far as I know. Like, last I heard, Bancroft said something about it, and he said that 
it, um, it's fine. It had been a while since they got an update, but the last update was that he's still working on it and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Like, apparently it's fine. It's just taking a very long time. Well, good. Yeah. And some books you don't draw unless, you, unless you're going to take a long time. Well, yeah, exactly. But that's, that is the issue there, though. It's if you're going to take a long time, have most of it done before you even launch the campaign. You know, like, don't launch a campaign and only have 10 pages done out of 100. Where are you, where are you guys, speaking of launching a campaign and having something done, if I can get in here, where are you yeah. guys on, on um, not Elysian Fields, that's his other book, the, the book you're drawing? <laughs> book I'm drawing? The yeah. first 10 are completely finished, waiting to be colored and stuff. And then the second set of 10, so I have the first 20 all penciled out, but the first 10 are completely inked and ready to go. And how many pages is the Embrace going to be? Uh, 40 with um, maybe, there's like a short story that we're kind of tinkering with that we're going to add at the end of it, mm -hmm. which might push it up to 50, but it's 40 pages for the, like, the Embrace issue one. Oh. Yeah. That's 40 pages of story and uh, like there's no extras or anything in between that. And then we'll have like the art gallery and everything as well. I could not see where all the seams were on this thing. <laughs> oh, wow. Look how much tape's that. <laughs> That's got so much tape on it. Oh. Yeah, we got to find things to keep on talking about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're doing a 40 well, page. Yeah. Yeah, the embrace is going. The forty pages is the actual initial story, and then there's like a short story and everything that we've added on top of that, which would be about fifty. Um, but no matter what, the book, like every, like even the standard edition of the book, has a little bit of extra stuff at the back of it, which mm -hmm. is like you know the fan art competition that we have running right now, things like that. The winners of those will be in the gallery, and there'll be like a thank you letter, and you know all of the stock standard stuff that you get in an indie comic book from us creators. Uh, that'll all be in all of it as well. So the book will be about 48 pages regardless, but it's 40, 40 pages of story for the first issue. Okay, cool. Uh, so, what's, uh, so there's a fan art contest going on right now. Does everybody here know about it? That's the... I... They should. I keep if, mentioning if... it in the chat because I want Bancroft to draw it, because, you, know, you know, we all know how he draws hands. Yeah. And the embrace has many hands. <laughs> many hands. Okay. Uh, if we had a 30 second timeout, I'd be using it right now. <laughs> yeah, don't. That, that's it. Take his wrench off him. I'll it, it, him he, he's already de wrenched. <laughs> <laughs> but we, it's a five minute timeout. We can't do only like 30 seconds. Well, <sighs> you're lucky it's, this time. <laughs> or the embrace, David. Have you not heard about the Embrace, mate? Oh, you don't know what you're missing. It is the superhero book of the year. Don't worry about the replicator. That, that's shit. Go and get the Embrace. That is the Australian comic book you want. Trust me. <laughs> this is loud. All right. Why does the Embrace have a bunch of hands? Talk to us, please. <laughs> Why does he have a bunch of hands? Um, <clears throat> uh, that's actually a spoiler. Like... The hands, uh, they're not necessarily hands, right? Like the suit is, but the suit is where all the powers come from. You know, like Clarence, the guy inside, he is just a normal man. But the suit is essentially venom if the symbiote was made out of ghosts. And so the hands are, they're not his hands. They're not David's hands, which is his son, um, who is the, the other ghost. That's how the story goes. Yeah, if you've read the title or seen the campaign at all, you know who David is. But, yeah, like, they are spirit hands, like, ghost hands, you know? Like, they are ethereal hands. But I don't really want to go into them too much because that is, a, like, the whole thing is, a, like, that's his, like, power set, you know? Like, I can't really say too much about the hands without saying, oh, this is what he can do, this is what he can do, this is what he can do. Which, as of right now, the only thing anyone knows is that the hands can move on their own, which... That is nothing. <laughs> that is absolutely nothing. That is the bare minimum that he can do. <laughs> well, we can basically only say two things. One, never get plastic bags that are sticky on both sides when you peel them apart. So, never. Never, yeah. I'm going to have to rebag that. Oh, nice. 
Sweet. The print. Yeah. I forget why it came with the print because I don't remember ordering a print with it. Maybe it was just every back I got one. Yeah, I think so. I think it might have been a stretch goal. So, oh, of course, in a 6 a.m. Comet, uh, comics uh, magnet. Yep, yeah, we're going to be talking to him soon. I'm pretty sure Odin messaged him yesterday or the day before. So we'll get an embrace one of those happening soon too. Oh, this is all sweet. So you see how the coloring is, is done on this one? On these guys? Yeah. This is the whole Bronze Age thing that Joe Thunderbuns really likes. And it looks like it. Definitely it, looks that like it. It really does look like it. Holy crap. Oh, it's it's got that trade that looks paper. looks like some of the best comics that I ever read. <laughs> This is this is like the paper that's the good the good paper they used to use in trade paperbacks that isn't actually like the uh, now it's really it, it's really high quality paper but then it was like it's just not newsprint now yeah. it's actually a high quality paper but yeah this is totally Bronze Age hell yeah oh, this looks like I fun. I didn't know the interiors were colored this way that's actually awesome mm -hmm. Russ Leach does good work. Yeah, Ross Leach is um he's drawing something for the embrace, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he's drawing something for the fan art competition. No, Ooh. no, no, no. Russ Leach is doing the embrace and perfect ten pinup. That's what Russ Leach is doing. Oh. Because if yeah, if you back the embrace and perfect ten issue two, right, if you're a backer of both campaigns, you get a free pinup of that that features both perfect ten and the embrace in some cool action sequence that I'm deliberately avoiding. So I don't want to see it until <laughs> everybody else sees it. Yeah. Is that a real person? <laughs> 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 you know that that um, that I how do you, I don't I'm forgive me if this is not the polite way to say it, but um, I don't care about politically correct. I just care about being polite to people. Uh, the handicapped guy who has a YouTube channel or and he puts out little videos on Twitter. Um, very thin arms uh, in a wheelchair. Do you know who I'm talking about? Oh, um, yeah, I, I do know who you're talking about. Ricky. Ricky. Yeah. I think someone else in Comicsgate put Ricky in their book. I'd do that. Ricky's one of the best dudes in the world. He's <laughs> but, hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's bloody, like, he is off. Like, I don't, oh my God. <laughs> the shit he says and does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is cool. This, it this also is does... really cool. This is actually the most, like the closest look that I've ever had. So mm. yeah, awesome. I'm actually, I'm enjoying every bit. I'm liking everything I see. Nice. Is okay, this we've still got... live? I should have backed this one. This is close now too, isn't it? Right, can Damn you it, search maybe... for it? Did you want me to search for it? No, no, I'll, I'll just search for it. I'm just right. kind of thinking out loud, you know, so we're not quiet. Only death can save us. Okay. Yeah. Hell yeah. That looks great. I remember, like, that was being promoted everywhere. So that's why I'm pretty sure it's closed. Now, Russ so Leach. Remember, so. Yeah, Russ, Russ Leach did some work previously for a company that had put out the um, the campaign for uh, Shield of the Interceptor, and that thing got no promotion because th they're used to doing Kickstarters. So, like, when he hit go live, he thought that it still had to go through the approval process of Kickstarter, and it doesn't. And so that one, I should pull that up. We're actually going to take a break from boxes and look at that for a moment. Uh, find shield. Oh, no. What's, what's up? That we're going to stop looking at boxes. <laughs> for a moment. And yeah, yeah, Rob, I have a face. I just don't have a webcam. We're working on that, though. Like, don't worry. It's coming. You'll be able to see my beautiful face in no time, I promise. Um, I have a face. What? Yeah, cool. I can just yeah. You've turned the volume up on YouTube. It seems. Um, no, I paste, I copied the wrong link and sorry about that technical error. It's fine. <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay, so I need to share. I'm in the wrong tab. I have no room for my mouse when I set up for to, for streams. Now, so, share what are you something. sharing with us again? Because I've forgotten already now. Uh, Shield with the Interceptor because of Russ Leach. Application window. And it's going to be that one. Hey! Okay, now i got to rearrange this. <laughs> there. Shield yeah, of so. the Interceptor. 
So Russ, right, yeah, I remember this. I only heard of this because of you, Blue. Like, yeah. I hadn't seen this anywhere at all. The, th the thing is, so th this is graphic novels and floppies. You can go either way. And it's Russ did, like, uh, the, the guy who's running the campaign uh, tw uh, sent me a message saying what Russ did in these. But he did, like, like art for issues two and four of Shield of the Interceptor, I think. Uh, something like that. So he's done half of the books that are in here except for the or the origins one so he did half of these two books and and then the one from shields or something like that uh so he's he's got different issues all over this this campaign um if, you, if we go down a bit <laughs> it's actually off my screen there we go so if we come down where load trading cards shirts i think i missed the floppies Ugh. You can uh, back this in floppies instead of in trading cards, or sorry, instead of in singles. So we'll just pick one here. Um, print copy. There we go. Give me a print. No, I'm not logged in. So yeah, you can get all I the was floppies. Say. <laughs> That's why I did it in a separate window. So yeah, Leech did a lot of work for this guy at Unstoppable Comics. That's the name of the company. Um, you can get you can get PDFs through their website, but he uh, sells the physicals this way. And these these twenty buck ones are uh, trade paperbacks, and the five dollar ones are all floppies. But um, you know his 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 campaign it's, it's down to eight days. Fixed goal fifteen hundred. This oh, just shit. hasn't been promoted because literally he wasn't ready when he hit go, and that's it. Yeah, that's one of my biggest concerns when it comes to doing the campaign. You know, like especially for new creators, you want to do it right. Like, because, you know, we're not Ethan. We don't have a massive fan base, you know? Like, it's not like we're ex-professional comics. Like, we're not from Marvel or DC or anything like that. So people aren't... Like, when Kenneth Rockefeller showed up, he was always going to make a killing because yeah. he's a fan favorite artist, mm -hmm. right? Like, we don't have that fan base, so we need to do it right. And it's 100%, like, it's all on us to do it right or not do it at all because, you know... We don't have that like you don't have faith in someone that is just out of nowhere brand new they don't have any of that experience yeah, like, yeah i get that and i don't know that russ drew these but it's it's still his style i mean look at this it's all very adequate artwork you know or better um you know pretty cool scenes like what the hell is all this <laughs> um i don't know it so needs it's, more it's, corners more corners yeah kimasabi would know what i'm talking about but okay. um yeah, comic book style, like, uh, look at Jim Lee's artwork and stuff, right? All their mm -hmm. muscles and stuff, it's not round. It's It's got corners for no real reason, just because that's stylized. And like, even look at my artwork. My artwork does the same thing. But, mm -hmm. but yeah, like, that's what I would do to this to change it, because it's so round. Okay. There, there you go. Look at the body, the white and red dude, the dude with the white and red suit. Here. No, scroll down on those pages you were on. What'd you do? You just flicked all the way back up or down? I don't know which direction you went. This? No, don't change tabs. Yeah, that page. There it is. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, you, do you want me to change tabs back? Because this is no. Not... <laughs> no, this, that, there. So that's what I was talking about. Do you see how that is all soft edges and curves and round mm -hmm. like lines? Yeah, no, I would make all of that cornered. Okay, like hard corner right here on the quad, that kind of thing. Yes, yes. The, on the yes. elbow, hard. Yes. Yeah. Maybe he went to another stream. Oh, we're missing Mo. Oh, we got to get Mo back, so I can yeah, make him blame Mo. your mods, mate. <laughs> but yeah, um, what D Wags is saying, put that up on the screen. That's a, that's a very good comment. There we go. Yeah, that one. Smaller creators, streamers, channels, we need to start working together and help build each other up more. Like that's exactly right. Like that's that's what we're all trying to do. Like behind the scenes and stuff, you'll notice that a lot of the smaller guys, like they we do talk to each other, you know, even the ones that you wouldn't think know each other, like we're all in groups and stuff, we're all organizing things for the future, you know, like you've you've got bloody Kim Sabi and Greg are doing that brain cage thing with Stefani. You've got like basically everything that Liam always does for all the Australians. Like Liam's got a whole group just for the Australians. And every single time a new Australian shows up to Comics Gate, like even if it's not a creator, I'm pretty sure just any Aussie. And he's like, welcome to Comics Gate Down Under. 
you know so like we're all we all communicate we're all we are all working together and like that's, that's where the embrace and perfect 10 crossover came from you know like we want to like at the end of the day we are competing with those big guys it's like we're not there yet but we want to be you know like i want to make more money than ethan and that like i want people i want to have fans and stuff like that and so does every other creator so yeah how'd you do that <laughs> what oh uh i push buttons out of order <laughs> <laughs> yeah so you got all the tape open now what if you we've got i'll stop rambling what well, is this, this? Is another smaller creator i don't mind supporting at all um don't mind supporting I me mean, i will i love supporting <laughs> Is that your mother going for groceries? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway. Haha. <sighs> ha. Um, what's his name? Rob Schaefer. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's it. If I can unfold it, it's like a Rubik's puzzle. Are you sure it unfolds again? Never oh, yeah. Okay. Holy cow. Awesome. Oh, that reminds me of my childhood right there. Why? Because of, like, cards in a little plastic thing like that. I had folders full of them when I was a little kid. Like, Superman yeah. and, like, the DC, I had a lot of Superman and Batman cards. I don't know why mm -hmm. I only had Superman and Batman, but I had a lot of Marvel cards as well. And they were all in plastic pockets like that. Oh, holy cow. Oh, my God. I mean, I'm not Hindu, but this is cool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> first off, these I really double. like that one in the middle. Sorry? The one in the middle. I really like that one. Mm hmm So these are double filled. So oh. there are actually 12 cards here. Or no, I'm sorry. One, two, three. Yeah, 12 cards here. And the white one you see is, an, is original art. Oh. Oh, this is so cool. That's really cool. And I think that's original art. If I'm wrong, I'll find out later. Um, and so is this. Holy cow. Thank you, Rob. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. This is the one where where he was he emailed me and I said I'll get back to you and 3 weeks later he's like you haven't gotten back to me. And I'm like, "Uh, who's the dude with the scars? Do him." <laughs> so, <there we> go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is this is great. Show off a few pictures. Oh, yeah. So doom fate for people who didn't don't recognize it. Oh, I, did not, I do not recognize this book at all. Hey, if anybody is is in two chats at once and can tell um, Mo anything, tell Mo that I my found his. Right now, Rob. Sorry, <laughs> Rob in the chat. He's like, my childhood was last week. My childhood is right now, mate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this has that soft waxy thing on it. Ah, oh, cool. Yeah, I really like that. See, this is this is his cartoony style that I like. Like, that's a little bit less because he went into detail with all the blood and stuff. But yeah, yeah I'm hey, you got to go into extra detail on your cover. Mm -hmm. But then people complain like the cover doesn't match the interior and whatnot. Anyway, if anybody if oh. anybody's able to tell Mo, I made him an, an admin or sorry, a moderator. He now has a wrench. <laughs> well, the embrace is actually opposite to that. The cover is probably the least detailed thing in the whole lot of it because we did the. The cover is uh, is uh, an homage to Death in the Family, so it's it's just the embrace there holding his son while he's dead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like when you know when Batman was holding Robin after he got blown up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's basically that piece. It's that cover essentially. So yeah, actually, not a lot of detail on that. <laughs> I didn't know this was a book about online dating, but here we are. <laughs> so. Nice, nice. <laughs> No. So for people who don't know what this is about, our main character here with the giant axe, there's a, there's an axe under all that blood. Uh, she I is... Not a, sorry? Axe, not us. Yes. Um, she is in a society where your role in society is set even before you're born, and she is basically breaking out of the role. How uh, does that so, work? I don't know. <laughs> these, these are card... That's not cardstock. These are cardstock. Holy cow. 
Oh, so he spent money. Damn. I'm, I, See, think, I, 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 love, think, I love cards like that. I, I think this was like... Sorry? I have heaps of those, like Mortal Kombat and superheroes and all kinds of different ones. This is John Ball. Dang. And of course, that's Rob. I can't tell who that is. No, no, I, I can't tell who that is. All right, got a couple to go. All right. But hey, we're just this. <laughs> I, I thought this would be split up into two streams, but we just kind of kept going. So. Yeah, well, you only had a few left to unbox. Like, half of them were already open, so it's not like yeah. you spent a lot of time cutting open tape and ripping open boxes or anything like that. Your back that, cover. Is, that is absolutely beautiful. And for just a back cover, too? Holy shit. <laughs> that is really nice. I mean, look at the... He's doing the photo negative on it and all that. And, and yeah. Then, oh, I, I actually... I absolutely love that. Like, why don't we ever show comics like this on my streams? I swear. My streams are nothing but me saying, I hate this. It looks terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, that is something that I genuinely have not a bad thing to say about it. And I've never seen it until today. I think the reason you never show comics like that on your stream is something you just answered in the observation. <laughs> this just popped in from that Evolution Publishing, the one that did No Sleep. Oh, yeah. And I cannot remember what it is. Yeah, that sounds like you. You're just buying too many comic books that you just have a pile of them to unbox all at once. Oh, here we go. This is. First off, I don't know why he's sending me that. Um, he already said just, when he was leaving something else, and so that was very generous of him. But moving on, uh, doubles. Yeah, ac accidental doubles. But okay, this is this is a very weird future sci-fi witchcraft type book where they're trying to bring up. I think it, if I recall, oh god, oh I read this so long ago. Um, this is issue two or three. Is this two or three? Two. Mm -hmm. uh, some people were trying to bring like Cthulhu out from the, you know, through the ether. And I, let's just say that I probably can't open this book. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, I'm sure it'll be a fantastic read. Yeah. Just let us know what you think of it. <laughs> yeah. They do. They, they are into some very strange things over there at no sleep. Hey, right? Liam's here. Welcome Liam. Hail. No way. Oh, passion for drawing. Oh, yeah. um, it's here, sir. And I wanted to say thank you oh, very yeah. much. Okay, passion for that. Yeah, that's incredible. And this is awesome. This is, you know, I can't believe the quality on this. Just looking at it. So thank you, Rob. It's very cool. Okay, <laughs> kind of humbled now. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, I'll look at that later. Okay, I'm going to do the last two out of order. Uh, I did skip one because it was, I actually, well, okay, I'll just flash through the one I skipped real quick. Honorable mention. Honorable mention here is, if you're into evangelical stuff, there is an evangelical uh, label called, that is where the book Hybrids started. So Hybrids, for those of you who don't know, this thing, hy that, that Hybrids, the Luke Stone stuff. Yeah. So he started on a different label called um, Starcross, and Starcross puts out a whole bunch of books. This was one that the one and this is number one, but one and two had campaigns that had some trouble. Um, Starcross has a wide variety. Like this is a horror book. They have other books that are very blatantly like uh, um, even uh, not evangelical, like the capital E, but more like um, they they put them in a category they call faith. So they're like, they're like Jesus stories, but without Jesus in them. It's um, like you'd say Christian fi fiction, I guess. Um, anyway, so I, I gave him a chance on, on some things and got some back issues, and I thought I'd show off this title and just that Starcross has variety. So um, if I recall correctly, this this is a pretty good guy. Uh, as for, um, What's that one on the right about? Like, I've never seen either of these, so I obviously have no idea. Yeah. This is, it just said horror, and do you think I remember what it's about? <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd like to think you have some idea. 
<laughs> At the very least, you'd be like, it's a ghost story or something. I didn't Come study on. for this exam. <laughs> <laughs> but you, these are your books you bought them <laughs> yeah and they came like you know 12 18 45 weeks later <laughs> okay um suffer oh. the children is an ongoing title well not so far uh, in a horror genre it follows several children who have been um, affected by death in sudden and sudden horrifying resurrection of the world's children oh Follow along as they try to save what's left of the future. How's Interesting. that? Interesting. It's black and white, though. It's spewing. I'm I read the original Aliens comics, so I'm fine with black and white. Yeah. The original Aliens comics were black and white? Yeah, the, the first uh, series of six were black oh. and white. No, I have a bunch of Alien comics, but they're all in color. Yeah. So Starcross is a company. This I've been trying to get my hands on. Gentleman Bones. He has a preview of it, and it's a comedy. Uh, notice here's uh, the hybrid yeah. stuff. That, yeah. So slide that away. Okay. So we got two more. One of these just arrived yesterday, and I'll do that one first, and then I'll give kind of my my piece de resistance is the uh, the last one I'll do. Uh, but that was the honorable mention, right? Yeah, that was the honorable mention. Thank you. Yeah, I really appreciate you being here, Dean. I, it's very generous with your time. No, oh, it's fine. I'm just procrastinating anyway. I'm supposed to be working, not going to lie. I won't tell Michael on you. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I just don't tell Callaway either. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm coloring something for Callaway at the moment, but that's all still top secret, so I can't say that live on stream. If I can get a finger in there, I don't need the scissors. All right. Yeah, I'm not even seeing the chat. My chat is paused. What the heck? Thank you, Felix. Thank you for posting links. Uh, you guys remember the one <laughs> that one time a long time ago when Mo was here? <laughs> Thank you, Darren. I miss Mo. I feel bad now. Yeah, I just went into Ali's. He's gone to Ali's chat, so he's just over there simping now. It's fine. But yeah. I, I went in there and I was like, justice for Mo. And hopefully you've come back so we can save him. But this is all Rob's fault. We know it. Oh, here we go. David Feed is, is saving my ass here. Um, my Babylon working, number one, was a fun read. Yes, it was. Lots of ass-ass titty. Yeah, the opening scene has a nude woman, because a lot of witchcraft is done in the nude, apparently. And Sounds she's covered in, in... Sorry? Sounds good to me. Yep. And she's covered in glyphs, like witchcraft glyphs kind of thing, cool. strapped to the front of a spaceship where they're going to open the portal to the other side of the universe. <laughs> what? Like, what the, what the fuck? Just, Comic I, books. I opened that book and I'm just like, what the hell is going on here? Uh, um, that uh, That's... See, you don't get that in anything else, right? Like, comic books aren't afraid to be absolutely ridiculous. And, you know, that's what we love about them, let's be honest. It's just, oh, I remember what this was. Okay. This was somebody's first attempt at making a book and okay. i decided to you know how first, you wanted to just, mm -hmm? first attempt yeah you want to encourage certain people if you see like they're trying to grow and and do better and stuff like that yeah yeah okay so i gave this guy i think like 15 bucks just to encourage him to keep keep going um a hero story comics just make his story and you know do do better next time kind of thing um it, this is just get it out there so i will give it a read and figure out like how well did he do you know yeah he's further along than half the other people i know yeah his books actually yeah mm -hmm. so this is not ntm comics but ntm is trying to do the same thing just get the thing out there so okay ntm's a great kid he makes me laugh <laughs> he is he never knows if we're joking or being rude or what, and he gets so upset. No, but but we got to say that he, I mean, for trying to hang with a bunch of adults, very rough adults in Bancroft's chat. Um, he does all right. The, <laughs> the kid's got balls. Let's we'll just put it that way. <laughs> all right. Pardon me for yeah, being vulgar. I just remember because um he got really upset with Mo one day and he was like, You're always talking shit, you're always putting me down. I was like I'm like, chill, man. I'm like, it's all jokes. And he stopped and he was like, wait, all of it? I'm like, yes, every <laughs> single bit of it. 
<laughs> and he's like, is that true, Mo? <laughs> you do know that I try to play. I try to play not totally opposite Mo, but when I see him going after NTM, I, I sort of you know say something kind once in a while. <laughs> uh, it depends on what we're talking about, but I jump back and forth. I might be sticking up for Mo one sentence, and then the very next conversation, I'm ripping into him for no reason. Yeah, like I started. I it was because of NTM that I bothered to start insulting Mo. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. I think the first time I insulted Mo was because of NTM as well. Because so I remember I was like, "Hey Mo, fuck you." I'm like, "See NTM, it's fine. Don't worry about it." Yeah. <laughs> All right. So this this is the final for the night. So anybody who regularly watches my channel, I want to say thank you for Stop. watching. Thank you for the signal boost, um, Conquest Comics, Liam. That. You gave me on the review. I will be doing an appendix to the review coming up, not for this original print of the night of the 1913, whew, 2013, but uh, just to because there are some other good bits in that stump book and people seem to like it. But yeah, this is the 2013 right here. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, stump is actually fantastic. Apparently, you can still message him on Twitter or you know Facebook or anywhere that you can find him. And he still has copies of them and he's happy to sell them to you. So you know the campaign and everything is finished and done with. Yep. So yeah, I'll, I, think that. I think he's kind of finished the whole... Um, oh, Felix, thank you for putting up NTM's link. I think he's finished the whole, like, uh, replacing damaged copies and all that. Oh, no, no. Um, Jim told me to actually contact him to buy a copy because I, you know, I don't have any damaged copy to replace. It's just that he no. said that he would be happy to sell me a copy. Oh no! What I mean is, he's finished with his reserves. Oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he's selling the reserves because all the damaged are, are there. Yeah, yeah. So wait a minute. Okay, now I have a question. Well, first off, this is notice this is black and white of a color. So sometimes it happens, um, or maybe this was done in black and white. I don't know. Uh, how much do we want to bet that I'm being screen uh, stream sniped right now? Hi, Liam's fans. <laughs> Let me check my notifications here. No, no, I'm not seeing it. Okay. Hi, Liam's fans. <laughs> so, anyway, it's a very similar book. Is it? Yeah. Is it the same? Like, is it the same story or what? Like, what's the uh, here? this one? This one, I think, has... A little bit more text on on this version of the last page or on that one it's roughly the same story this is the forgive me if i'm getting the count wrong this is the 28 pager um this looks like it was never colored this looks like it's just pencils filling in he does some really good uh shading with just a little bit of pencil but then yeah a lot of these pages are the same Min most of the pages are the same this one's different with the police vehicle. So this one, he changed up here and added in some other stuff. So the, these panels are moved around. I'll put it that way. Uh, so it's like um, slightly edited, but it's essentially the same story. Oh, yeah. And he, he added in... And the new version is in color as well. Yeah. Some of this, maybe this was color, like done in black and white and not a black and white print of something in color. Maybe. Yeah. So notice this panel is really different here, where um, in the color version it's like that tall. It's half the page. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and looking at how the girders are here, maybe. Um, he did, okay. I'm sorry. I'm think. I'm overthinking. I'm sorry. I'm thinking a whole bunch of things at once and trying not to say them all. <laughs> but anyway, right. Nathan, Nathan uh, was able to sell me a leftover copy of the original stump. So there we are. Yeah. He. He's um, obviously very talented because I've heard nothing but great things when it comes to stuff. So. Cool. And he's working on a book too, isn't he? There will be a yep. stump too soon. Uh-huh. So that'll be good. I'm looking forward to that. Cool. Well, uh, I'm looking forward to uh, the Embrace coming out. Should we take a look at that? Should I? Should I? Uh, yeah, definitely. Play my little trailer I made. I think it's, it's very atmospheric and spooky. Oh, gee. Okay, fine. It's only a little teaser. It's only a teaser. It goes for like 30 seconds. Not even. I think it goes for like 25. 
Wait, your little teaser. Where is it? You got a, it's you have a link? It's on the campaign page. It's on the campaign page. I don't have a campaign page. Oh, you know what? You just said that you were going to share the camp. What are you talking about, Blue? You just said you were going to share the campaign page. I did, but what I meant was the sign up page. <laughs> yeah, that is the page that has the trailer on it. There's, there's no video on here. Yes, there is. It's at oh, the very top. There's a button that says watch the video. <laughs> <laughs> well. Yeah, it's very short. It's only a teaser. We're going to release a full trailer when the campaign actually goes live. But this will, like, it's a nice little. Spooky I hope everyone has thoroughly enjoyed me being an idiot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so to do audio, I have to share the entire screen. Uh, when you click on the share window, there's a little button in the corner, a little tick box that you need to click on. Yeah, but that, that only works when you do a whole screen and not just audio. So there's my screen. Oh, you, can share the, you can just share the Chrome tab and it works. That's oh. what I do all the time. Okay. Stop the screen. Yeah, so now we'll just go back. It's fine. Share audio. As long as it's on the Chrome tab, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, there we are. Okay, I'm muting. Yeah, and I'll let you know if you can't hear it. See, I told you it was short. It was. But yeah, that um that was very like laggy and glitchy on my screen. I don't know how it looked on the stream for everyone else. Well, my upload is only two, and your download is only two. So I'm in Australia, so two is good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, everybody, thanks for hanging out and thanks for your time. Is, is there anything else we want to look at now that I can actually pay attention to the chat? Hmm. I don't know. I, I'm not. I don't really have anything. I mean, do you have anything that you would like to show? Anything you'd like to talk about? I'll probably kick myself later for this, but no, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cool. Beautiful. It's been fun then, Blue. It's who? What's that? It's been fun then. Should we say goodbye to the chat and everything before we? Uh I think we sh we should. Uh, do do we do this like the reverse of of Darren Wagner or not Darren Wagner of a uh, um. What's it called? Hey, um, Odin just got here. Is Mo Michael Odin? Hey, okay. So we have to do this the way backwards of of Der of uh, of Bancroft, where he says hello at the beginning to everybody. So goodbye, David Feed. Goodbye, Michael Odin. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye, Amaro's Moon. Um, goodbye, Mo. Go goodbye, Mo <laughs> goodbye, Darren. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye, Felix. Goodbye, uh, Liam. Feel free to take a couple. Just goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. <laughs> All right. Oh, good. Oh, goodbye, replicator. Goodbye, Rob. I'm sorry you had to take your wrench away. We'll try again. Um, Maybe next I think, time. I think that's everyone. Okay, there's this red button here.